I'd like to do a short walkthrough of the features of my synthesizer that I built. Uh, tr I'll try and make it pretty brief, but show you a little bit about everything. Uh, everything that you hear is coming from this unit, although it is all running through a reverb pedal, which, which makes it sound much more full in the way you would expect it to sound. So, it's monophonic, there's one oscillator playing at a time, we've got a choice between a square, sawtooth, triangle, there's some options on some of those, a square, I've got an octave switch, sawtooth is, uh, take it as it comes, triangle, has some overdrive, which adds distortion at the top end. I have a I built a mixer in, so this is a passive mixer. There's no amplification going on here. It's got to run uh, into a mixer or an amplifier. Right now, it's going into a pretty budget guitar amplifier. Um, so this doesn't actually boost the volume; it limits the volume on on each track. So you'll see that I've got, I built a drum machine into it. We've got eight steps. There's a bass drum, a tom, and a snare. So here we have some uh, sound processing options, and basically what these circuits are, are guitar pedal effects circuits. The whole thing runs off of one 12 volt adapter. All these circuits run on 12 volts, obviously. So, and what we've got over here is a 16 step sequencer. Each knob affects the pitch of one of the steps, and then this is a master pitch right here. So I can turn each individual step off. Here I have a low-pass filter with an LFO modulation. right here. Intense delay unit over here.
some logic switches here, which kind of mix up the sequence in strange ways. So, I had to stop the video for a second the <clears throat> to show you the envelope filter. So we have this envelope filter here also, which is pretty temperamental, so I had to edit the video a little bit. Certainly one of the most fun things about this unit. Super funky.